Hey there, this is Michelle Pesco Salido and welcome to this video tutorial. I'm going to show you how to set up your messenger on your Facebook fan page. So there's a lot of really cool things that you can do with your fan page when it comes to messenger. And I want to show you this example real quick here. Um, when you, when I come to this fan page, it happens to be the Marriott Marquis in Houston. Let me refresh it and I'll show you what happens. But when a visitor comes to this page, this little um, messenger box actually pops up here um, and prompts us to, you know, type a message, ask Marriott a question, etc. cetera. Um, now, some people don't actually have this set up on their page, but it's a really great feature. And I, you know, definitely suggest if you're a business owner, you're, you know, you're a brand or, um, you know, you're marketing online and you want to grow your brand, build your audience, you want to have this set up. So let's go through the process of actually how to set that up. So what you're going to want to do is I'm over on my fan page right now, but you're going to come over here to settings. And the first thing that you need to do is make sure in the general section that you have this checked. It's under messages. And so you want to make sure that you have checked the box to allow people to contact your page privately. All right. So um, this is going to be by showing the message button. And if you turn this off, it's going to remove that send message button on your fan page and nobody will have any way to contact you on your fan page. So you want to make sure Sure that's checked so once you do that click save changes and the next thing you're gonna do is you're gonna come over here to messenger now there's other third-party programs out there where it gets a little bit more advanced like many chat um, that you can use but Facebook has given us a lot of those features here which makes it great especially if you're just starting out so what you're gonna want to do is you're gonna want go through these like settings here all right so general settings is just basically when you're typing a message back to someone um, use the return key to send messages um, you know, sometimes we have the option when you're typing a message to somebody who has messaged your fan page, you hit return, but the person, it's not actually sending the message. You have to actually click the send button. This isn't really that big of a deal, but just want to show that it is available here that you can type a message hit return and the message will send automatically so you don't have to click the send button. So you can turn this on and off. Now, the next thing is, is you wanna make sure that this is turned on. So this is basically people visiting your page may see more ways to send you a message, such as open a chat window, which is what we saw on the Marriott page, all right? So this will appear if you're online or if your page is very responsive to messages. So you wanna make sure that you are engaging with your messages that are coming to your fan page because there's a couple other features that don't open up until you uh, start responding to messages. So you want to make sure that's returned on. Now, response, assi response assistant. So this basically will send instant replies to anyone who messages your page. You want to make sure that you turn this on. So when somebody messages your page, an automatic message will go out to them. So we're going to click on change and we're going to customize that message. So this would be somebody messaging your page. Hello, I have a question. Right now, the default is set up. Thanks for messaging us. We try to be responsive as possible. We'll get back to you soon. That, that default message is perfectly fine, but as marketers or as a business owner, this is a great opportunity while you're away to send them to your blog or send them to your website or you know give them your phone number, whatever it is that you do in your business. So we're going to actually change this and you can add personalization. So I'm going to go ahead and say, let's take this part off. So thanks for messaging us, comma, and personalization is right here, first name. So it has my name, but it would be the person visiting the page. Thanks for messaging us, Michelle. We appreciate, let's see. Thanks for messaging in Michelle. And then you can customize it. Getting back in touch shortly in the mean, in the meantime, if you have questions, please let us know. You can also visit, and I'm going to put our blog if it'll fit in here. All right. So this is a great way to send traffic to your blog or to send traffic to your website. So what you're gonna to wanna to do from there is you're gonna click save. So that's gonna be, if anybody comes to the page and they ask a question, then this little message is gonna happen. Now, show response time. 
So your response time will only be visible on your page if you visit your page at least once a week and answer 90% more of your questions, all right? So if you're not doing that, you're not gonna be able to show this feature on your page. But if you do, and this ends up opening up for you, you can automatically set a response time. So typically replies in a few hours, typically replies instantly, typically replies in minutes, typically replies in a few hours, typically replies in a day, all right? So you can set that to whatever you want. So I'm gonna put that on there, typically replies within a day, and I'm gonna click done. Now, the next thing is, is we're gonna go down to show a messenger greeting. So this is where you're gonna create a greeting that people will see the first time they open a conversation with you on Messenger. Um, so right here is if they, let's go into here and let me actually turn this on. And so this is going to pop up and basically say, let's get started. Let me see if I can make that show again. All right, let's get started. Click the start button below. We're happy to hear from you. And what will happen is, is there will be an option for them to click get started. And once that happens, you're going to want to have some sort of automated message come up. So this person is saying, hello, I have a question. So this is feature is set up like for the Marriott Marquis one. All right, so this just automatically pops up and then I can say I have a question. I don't, let's see if they have anything set up. I don't know if they do. They may not, but what would typically happen is you would see an auto response and that's what we want to set up right here. So they don't have that. Um, they should, but they don't. So um, if somebody were to say, I have a question. So that person said, let's get started. So what we're gonna say is, and we've customized it. Hey, Michelle, happy to hear from you. If you have a support question, please email support at onlinewealthpartner.com. That's our support desk. In the meantime, let us know how we can help you. Whoops, went over the character. So happy to hear from you. If you have a support question, I'll just take out the please. Email support in the meantime, let us know how we can help you. All right, and then we click save. So that's basically the process that you wanna make sure that you have set up on your fan page. So let me see, I don't know if I'm going to actually be able to show you what happens here since this is my fan page, but um, if you were to come over and visit Michelle Pesco Solito, the fan page right here, And since I'm in the admin, I wouldn't be able to see this, but if I come in here and um, I would end up seeing the little box pop up, what I can do is maybe log out of here. The best thing that I would suggest for you to do is if you really wanna kinda of see it in action is to actually do that yourself. So let's try this. I'll try one more account here. And just type in my fan page. Let's go to pages. There we go. Hey Mackenzie, happy to hear from you. Uh, if you have a support question, email support onlinewealthpartner.com. In the meantime, let us know how we can help you. And again, when you tap the get started button, remember how we saw that earlier, let's go ahead and click that and see what happens. Thanks for messaging us, whoops. Thanks for messaging us, Mackenzie. We will get back in touch shortly. In the meantime, if you have any questions, please let us know. You can also visit our blog. Um, this message that popped up below here is actually through ManyChat, which is a lot more advanced. So I will end up turning this part off since I have ManyChat set up on this, but we'll cover that in another tutorial. But for now, this is the basics on how to actually set up your messenger on your Facebook fan page. So I hope you got a lot of value from this and we'll see you in the next training video.